Welcome back you guys, welcome back to another unboxing. Happy Friday. I uh, hope this gets out on Friday, because uh, sometimes I forget, or I just can't, don't have time to upload the video. Uh, like my Silverado, that was supposed to be released actually like three days before prior it actually got uploaded. So it's kind of like a little, little late. Uh, the whole coronavirus, right now uh, I'm a custodian, so you know we're in, uh, right now we're working uh, in trying to maintain the school clean using special products right now wipe down everything so you know we're tip top on that uh fresh shave it feels good i was growing it for too long it feels fresh uh, shout out to coffee madness i know uh, thank you for the support uh new subscribers i've been digging the channel a lot of good information so go check them out uh, it's coffee and then space and then madness. Uh, you'll find him in my comments. Uh, and shout out to Manny Fresh. He's another good guy that's a good supporter. Shout out to you, man. Thank you for the love. Uh, with commenting on my videos. He mentioned, uh, in my last video, the my Silverado truck, that I forgot about Dre. I did forget about Dre. I just didn't mention him. He is a burial legend. Um, he's one of the best to ever come. From the Bay, inspired so many, legacy big, uh, I have Mafios in the background, uh, I only have two CDs of Doc, uh, Mac Dre, they're hard to come by when they do come by, they're pretty expensive on eBay, so luckily I've been able to find only two on uh, the flea markets. Uh, which is uh, the art pairings only have the uh, disc two of the best of the, uh, Mac Dre uh, the, the, the complete set which I believe to this is uh, really really expensive uh, this is volume four uh, I don't know how many uh, volumes there are I think could be more than four volumes um, he is an amazing artist great songs I'm feeling myself classic party up song. I remember one time we went to Hookah Place and and, and uh, they had like the whole uh, speaker and you put in like an iPod, you put in any music you want and play. I put feeling myself amazing song. It got the it got the the place uh, in a good mood. The bartender came up to me. He's like, man. I don't care who, you know, if everybody goes up there and tries to change it, you know, let me know and I'll handle it, you know, keep playing that good music. So that's cool. Uh, the other one is this one, which I'm not 100% sure which album it is. But I, uh, it took me a while to figure it out with Mac Dre. Uh, as you can see, it has nowhere where it says Mac Dre. It's supposed to say it right here where the circle is, but it's kind of hard to see. This is disc one, this is only disc. Uh, good album, I love it. Uh, I listened to it before, so that's kind of great. That's uh, for today's album feature. I do not have the cases for these, which suck. These were, uh, both, I believe both one of them was in a big binder full of different CDs. Would have made a great video, but, you know, didn't think of it back then. Uh, the other one was uh, from loose CDs that I got that went to pile for real cheap. So that's kind of cool. Today I have two packages to open. One is from Jada Toys. The same makers that make the die cuts I buy from. This is actually a figurine. Old, old figurine. And the other one is a die cast, which is from Waterworks. It's a 132 scale. Uh, the guy had uh, some grainy pictures. You can't really see well. Took my chances since it was really cheap. And I do collect that. Waterworks 132. I have about three of them now. And then another one that's coming in the mail. Plus this one. Um... Uh, I say we start off with the, the Jay Toys package. This uh, was brand new. Well, not really brand new. It was opened uh, new. Uh, this is well, from one of the series that they made, that they basically came, came up with, which is uh, Chub City. These cool little figurines with like these small, tiny, tuned cars with big ass rims. Uh, as a kid, you know, growing up, seeing that my shit, they had a guy that was a tagger, he was a graffiti in, and he would draw, he would draw amazing, that's what kind of drew me into the whole 
the whole uh, set of toys thing. And uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. This is small. Oh man. I was expecting a whole different, you know, big box, you know? This is pretty small. I paid 10 bucks for this. Uh, I don't know. 10 bucks worth this. I'm um, so gonna open this. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna keep it in the box, but since it's already open, I'm gonna take it out just for display purposes, just to show you guys who he is. Uh, this is one of the characters from uh, Dead Toys. He is a rapper. I love music, so anything with the rapper or you know anything like that, I, I dig. It's pretty small. It's not too bad. But, uh, I dig it. I'd pay 10 bucks for this. It came really fast. Uh, it was from San Bernardino. I believe is where it came from. This is a limited. I believe this is a limited edition. Yep, there's the box. Limited edition, Chip City. On top, it says JetaToys.com. There's the Jetta logo. The back is even better cool looking. So we'll be keeping this in the box. Uh, I do love the box, it's a little cool little something, you know, uh, collector's item. Uh, like I said, growing up, I remember going to the dollar store and uh, they had a Chip City coloring book and I got that and, you know, growing up, she was a shit. This was before I collected die cast, anything, I, I didn't even know Janet Troy was a thing back then. And so, you know, growing up, I just got it because of the cars and then, you know, I had the tagger and you had like the, the rapper. So it was kind of cool. You know, and then that's when I later found out about their die cast, and they start collecting that. Didn't know they were paired together until like one day, it was like a couple years ago, I was cleaning my room. Found the coloring book. Alright, cool, I went through it, you know, saw everything, and then I got to the back. Janitories.com. And that's when I put the two together, I was like, oh shit, no way. So that was kind of cool. Uh, let's open this, which is the the little car, the little diecast vehicle. Uh, it looked, it was brand new in the packaging, but from the hearing of this package, it is like things going everywhere. No! Ah, son of a gun! And okay, it is what I thought it was. So it is. Uh, the door is loose, it's all damaged. Like literally, the door is off, like it's broken off. Okay, I can see that. Motorworks right there, amazing, amazing car. You got the, the box, which is in horrible condition, and then right away you can see the door is broken. The top is a little fugazi. Barrier to him as in dirty. The top part, it's all bad. Uh, all, all bad. I paid like 13 bucks for this. These usually go for more. But uh, the, this, no good. Uh, I don't know what to do. This is for gaze. This is all damaged. Uh, damn. Okay, one thing I noticed was the door handle broken. And then. That got me pissed off was the door panel is off. The top damage damages can be. I'm talking about damage damage. Uh, I'm going to try my best to uh, fix this. It comes to a little stand. I'm going to try my best to try to fix this and get this back to tip top shape. But uh, having this door off, I don't know how many you would have put it back. Hoping you can. Because, you know, it's cool. I'm not going to lie. Sprunk. I do love the teal wheels. Uh, the hood, I believe, it does not open on these. There's the front end, which is not bad. You get to the hood. Uh, you get to the freaking uh, the roof. Look at that. Look at that big scratch right there. It's, it's like not really scratch, but more like a paint residue. It is sticky, by the way. It feels like someone dropped maple syrup on that. Uh, one thing I do like is the back does open. There's not much to it here. It is a little loose there. 
That is the back. Let me show you what a, a, a tip top shape version of that will look like. Which I have right here. This is a Nissan 350Z. This is a uh, tip shot, nice condition right there. There's the front end. Here's the back end. There's the spoiler. This one does have two exhausts. This one only has one. And this one does not have a spoiler. But still, it's cool, cool, you know, for what I paid for these. I think I paid like 18 for this one, and I paid like 17 for the other one, which is right here. Then I paid 20 bucks for a one that was, no, not 20 bucks, 15 bucks for one that was loose. I mean, new in box. I got lucky on that one. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. I will try my best to get everything back in shape. See what I can do. It does look amazing. I, I am disappointed it does not have the door panel, which is off. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find it there. If not, I might have to buy another one. Uh, there is one. There are none currently. These are hard to come by. And they usually go for like 15 to 20 bucks. So they are a little you know, more difficult to find. But they're cool. They're small. You know? Great size. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe. Need the support right now. S in the chat for this uh, messed up car. Definitely not going to buy from him, him again. Because uh, the pictures were blurry. You can't really tell from my clothes. I can see why he didn't want to send the picture close up. So I was taking my chances for the cheapness that it was. Uh, he does have another one, which I don't know which kind it is. Uh, I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to do, do him like that. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, thank you for our support, you guys. And uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you have it. And uh, see you guys on the next. Peace.